Hi, I'm Luca Congedo and you're watching from JS to Remote Sensing. This video is about the download and conversion to reflectance of the Sentinel-2 images, in particular with the new semi-automatic classification plugin. Uh, we are going to download the Sentinel-2 images using this tool. We are going to use the user and password for the login. Uh, at the moment the guest uh, user and guest password is available and then we are going to uh, select the area coordinates for searching. So we can load uh, OpenStreetMap in QJS in order to display uh, a map. We can go to our study area and click the area coordinates here. And then we can click find images. So after a while the images will be listed in this table. Here we can see the long image name and the name of the granules or tiles. And we can also see the zone, uh, which is very useful for uh, identifying the area that we are going to download, the area related to each uh, image, and the acquisition date. So we can click uh, display granule preview, and after a while the download of this preview will be displayed in QJS. So we can zoom to the, to the layer and here we have our preview that is actually the band 1, the Sentinel-2 band 1. You can see that there are clouds. We can also display the overview of the whole image which is composed of several granules, several tiles. And we can see the overview. Here we can see all the tiles composing this uh, image. But let's say that we want to download only this granule. So we can select uh, only if preview in layers in order to download only this preview loaded in QJS. Then we can check preprocess images in order to convert uh, images to reflectance. Uh, in particular, we are going to apply also the dust one atmospheric correction here. And we are also going to create the band set automatically. We can select the individual bands, Sentinel-2 bands, for download. Uh, so for now we are going to download all the Sentinel-2 bands. Then we can click download and select the destination directory. And the download will start. So of course it will require uh, a few minutes depending on your connection. And after a while the download process will be completed and once the download is completed the conversion process will start automatically because of the option checked before you can see that the downloaded images are inside this directory here with the XML metadata and the converted uh, bands will be uh, saved inside this directory with the suffix con 
here we can see the first band converted. So after a while, the, all the bands will be converted to reflectance using the DOS1 correction. You can see all the bands loaded in QJS. So let's have a look also at the band set. We can see all the bands loaded as an input for the classification process. Now we can also create a color composite of this Sentinel-2 image. For instance, a 3 to one which is a natural color. We can zoom to an area, for instance, and see the, this beautiful image. So we can see the details and the spatial resolution of this image, which is uh, 10 meters. We can clearly see the roofs of the buildings and the roads. We can also change the color composite, uh, which is for the near infrared uh, 732. And as we can see the NDVI values over the digitated areas. So let's have a look at the spectral signatures here of this pixel of vegetation. And for instance another pixel here of built up. You can see the built up in red and vegetation in green. Of course, the conversion process can be performed also uh, after the download, but we can choose a directory containing uh, the Sentinel 2 bands, and the table of uh, bands will be uh, automatically loaded for the conversion process. So Sentinel-2 images will be uh, very useful for land cover monitoring. If you have any comments or questions, please join the Facebook group or the Google Plus community. Thank you for watching.